Yay! I finally arrived in San Francisco and the sun is shining for me. Finally uh, met my sister and her family and very excited to be here by the Golden Gate. Look at those stunning views. have arrived in time for a little mini heat wave here in San Francisco and absolutely loving the beautiful weather. Found this view of uh, Golden Gate up from the hills and it was absolutely breathtaking. Went straight to my cookbook event at Omnivore Books who kindly hosted a lovely evening uh, talking about my latest book 30 Minute Indian and I was so pleased and humbled by all these people who turned up to show support and love for uh, the books and my recipes and it was so nice to meet so many people loving the recipes and cooking from the books it was a fantastic evening just filled my heart with so much love and very exciting way to start my trip here in san francisco lovely and wonderful so I'm, I'm so pleased to be here thank you thank you for having pleasure. me what are you doing out here so my sister lives here and i am oh, here yes. visiting uh, them after covid of course so it's been, yeah. oh yes of course yes that's my niece here <laughs> um but yeah so i just thought if i'm here i must find a place if i can uh to say hello to you anyone who would like to say <laughs> well you obviously have a really big fan base here how many of you already have her books or some of her books yes good number that's great <laughs> um, drove into the city uh, on a really clear day and apparently the famous Carl the Fog uh, was missing the whole week which was great because the views were quite nice. I loved the vibe of the city and it was really fun to walk around and then we went and found the cable car because obviously if we are here we have to go on a ride on the cable car uh, so we went to the starting point where they would turn around the car and go back on the route and start from the bottom The only thing was there were long queues for the cable car but it was absolutely definitely worth the wait and the queue. This is the ride up and we couldn't have chosen a better week to be here. The weather has been absolutely stunning. It's beautiful summer's day and the ride was very very fascinating.
Next stop is the Fisherman's Wharf uh, because obviously I have to tick off all the touristy spots here um, and after walking around for a little while and taking in all the scenes we stopped uh, at a place to try some uh, seafood, some tacos and uh, some fried calamari and obviously wrapped up the meal with none other than a chocolate ice cream from Ben & Jerry's. Next stop is the very popular Pier 39, uh, being proper tourists here, just walking around and there's some nice shops, uh, but we headed straight to see the sea lions and what a lovely sight. Next, I stopped at this uh, fudgery uh, on the recommendation of my sister Alpa and uh, just stopped to try some chocolate fudge from this shop and it definitely did not uh, disappoint. There was so much variety here um, and I really didn't know what to go for so I went for the basic chocolate fudge. And while I was just walking around the Giradilly Square, we stumbled upon this very, very small kind of street. Uh, it looked like a parking area, actually, and it had all these beautiful paintings, uh, lots of balloons, lots of umbrellas, and <laughs> looked like a popular spot for Instagrammers to stop and take some pictures. And it was time to get the cable car back down into town to Union Square and I just love the mechanics of this cable car it just feels like uh, you're back in time uh, very fascinating that's it time to wrap up the first vlog from san francisco let me know in the comments if you have ever been here and whether you enjoyed this uh, video from me and i will see you back very soon with a lovely recipe just leaving you with this video of a very talented guy playing amazing music